EAFC 24 database has finally dropped, so today we are doing a Serie A starter squad. So let's get into it. In goal, we have 81 rated Rui Patricio, 79 diving, 80 handling, 77 kicking, 79 reflexes, 55 speed, and 79 positioning. Now, not gonna lie, he looks like a very, very good starter goalkeeper because he's the ones that Serie A does are, you know, very, very expensive or very very bad to be honest and he's just in the middle he's just sitting there right in the middle you know you have my nan in there you have Samuel there as well he's in the syria just patricio's just in the middle not too expensive not too high rated not too bad and not too low rated he's basically just sitting on the bench sitting dead in the middle now this is where we get very very sweaty going into the first center back we have kalulu 78 rated french as well he, you just know he's going to cost a little bit. He's going to be a little bit pricey. He should be cheap enough, but a little bit pricey. With 80 pace as a centre-back, which is huge. 79 defender and 75 physical. The only ones that really, really matter as far as a defender. But 78 rated centre-back from France with 80 pace. You, you just know where it's coming from. You know Kim Pembe and Pashas, even Kalulu last year at the start of the game was sick. He's a sicko. He was. He was absolutely class. You just know. You have Lacroix as well. Lacroix was unbelievable. You know. So, a French pacey centre-back, it all goes perfect. Next player is a bit more high-rated. We have got 84-rated Bremel. However, he does have 80 pace as well, 85 defender and 83 physical. He might be a bit more on the pricey side. Not too pricey, I would say, but still an 84-rated with 80 pace, 85 defending, 83 physical. He looks like an absolute beast to have at centre back. Now at right back we have got Dumfries. Now it's either Dumfries or Quadrado. I believe Quadrado is a right mid at the minute. But I'm not sure if you could convert him to a right back. But if you can, Quadrado is going in and Dumfries is out. If you can't, Dumfries is in and Quadrado is out. He has got 83 pace, 70 passing, 73 dribbling, 78 defending, 89 physical. Doesn't look like a bad right back, 81 rated as well, but Quadrado just has the more pace and more all round attacking going forward as well. He's more all round player. But again, if you can't convert Quadrado to a right back, Dumfries is your man. At left back, we have got a bit more of a pace one with 91 pace, 80 rated he is. Spinner Zola. He looks like a very, very good card. 72 passing, 79 dribbling, 76 defending, 69 physical is not best. But having that pace with 91 pace, you know he's going to catch near enough to almost every wide player or every attacker anyway. Because with his pace alone, it's just very, very good. But having a, a fast fullback is more likely essential in this game. And he looks like a very, very good option. Now, this is where we get very, very pricey. Because let's be honest, he is going to cost at least, oh, I don't know, 20k? Renato Sanchez, 78 rated, centre mid, and all around he is absolutely brilliant, as usual. Having 82 pace, 70 shooting, 77 passing, 81 dribbling, 72 defending, 82 physical. All around absolutely brilliant, 4 star, 4 star, high, high work rate as well. He's absolutely brilliant. However, it's Renato Sanchez, we know he is going to cost about 40, 30, 40, 50k, as usual. He's always brilliant in every game. He is going to be probably the most expensive player you're going to be buying in this team. He is going to be the player you're going to need to get, and once you get him, you're sorted. Because he is the most expensive player, 100% on this team, but he is an absolutely unbelievable option. In the other centre mid position, we've got a little bit more of a higher rated, 184 rated Rabio. He looks absolutely brilliant. A French centre mid, he is going to be a little bit pricey, but not as much as obviously Renato Sanchez. He has 78 pace, 76 shooting. 80 passing, 80 dribbling, 82 defending, 84 physical. He's more of a defensive kind of centre mid player, as you could see. But yes, he's more of a, to be honest, he's more of a box to box. He could be up and down the pitch. He has three star, three stars, not great. Low, low work rate, work rate is awesome, not great. But looks like a very, very good option. Next, we have got a CDM. And to be honest, you'll probably remember him from FIFA 23. He is Ben Acer, 84 rated. He looks brilliant. He actually looks very, very good. He has 80 pace, 72 shooting, 81 passing, 86 dribbling, 79 defending, 78 physical, 4 star, 3 star, high, low work rate. He looks, not gonna lie, he looks very, very good. I'm um, like, 
FIFA 23, he was brilliant when he got to his role to the final, role to knock it. Don't know which one it was. He was absolutely brilliant. And this card just reminds me of that. He looks very identical to that card. And to be honest, have him in your starter team, it's going to be brilliant. He might be a bit pricey. He might be 12, 15k. But once you get him, once you get Ronaldo Sanchez out of the way, and once you get him, he's going to be brilliant in the midfield. Now, moving on into the attack, we have a Roy Wayne player in the name of Felipe Anderson. Yes, you just might remember him from back in the day being absolutely brilliant. He's got four star, four star, high, high rook rates, 87 pace, 78 shooting, 77 passing, 85 dribbling, 73 physical. He looks like an absolute brilliant right wing player. Jeez, I couldn't even speak English. Right wing player with 87 pace and 85 dribbling is absolutely Beautiful, that is beautiful, and even having 78 shooting, honestly, slap a hunter on him, I know, you might call me a sweaty little, I'm not going to say the word, a sweaty, you know where I'm going with, but, yeah, slap a hunter on him, he's going to be feeling like prime Pele, I don't know why Pele, but Pele, cutting in, Travella, do you know what, charisma, he's going to be like charisma, Chuck, like turning in, Travella, top corner here, nah, I'm not, I'm not on my, I'm only messing, but he looks absolutely brilliant to be honest. Now, on the left wing position, we've got a bit more of a, an interesting one, a bit more of a troll back if you ask me, a 78 rated left wing in the name of El Sharari. Now this one's a bit of a flashback, hang in with me down there, Ray. 86 pace, 75 shooting, 75 passing, 79 dribbling, 63 physical, I know his stats might not be like, oh wow, he's brilliant, but I believe he has got the play style called rapid and i believe he is meant to be extremely fast because rapid and fast go like they're the same thing so he must be half decent cutting in on the left hand side hitting him with his right for having the finesse i believe he might have actually i think he does have four star three star as well as always nice but he looks like a very very good left wing option now into the last and not least we have got the striker and i'm gonna i'm just gonna say this right this lad's going to be the most underrated player, and no one's going to realise this towards, till like, the first few weeks. It is Muriel. 88 pace, 80 shooting, 73 passing, 85 dribbling. That, like, for a striker, have a four-star, four-star as well. For a striker, that is absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to, like, you're not going to get more of a budget, like, budget striker than that. He looks absolutely brilliant. He's going to be a player that people even bring off the bench. And he's going to be a little rat, I bet you. He's going to be such a rat. But he looks absolutely brilliant. So if you get him in your starter squad up top and have him start, and he is going to be very, very hard to play against. And people will more than likely get sick of it. And probably quit if you're scoring three or four with him. Because you will. Because he's 88 pace and 80 shooting. And 85 dribbling is absolutely perfect to have as a striker. To be honest, he looks very, very good. Right, that is going to be our for today. If you want to see more starter squads, next we are doing it in the Bundes Liga. Then we have La Liga. And we also probably going to do Saudi League and the Eredivisie. Because the Eredivisie always is very, very good. And Saudi League looks absolutely brilliant this year. I'm not going to lie. But that's going to be all for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.